dear students i welcome you all of you in the today's session of traffic engineering and management so as there were certain technical glitch in the session that i posted today morning there are issues related to the voice so this is the revised video the same content is being covered that was covered in today's session today's uh, lecture number 27 so stay focus this is what we are discussing we have been discussing about the traffic engineering and management module up till now we have covered various things such as we have covered volume survey speed survey origin and destination survey types of parking we have covered now only few things are there that are still remaining to be covered such as light hill and william thun's theory then we have to cover the accident study part highway capacity and intelligent transport system management like travel demand system like uh, this kind of things are there so what we are going to cover in this today's session is we are going to cover the we are going to start actually the next module that is basically focused towards the accident studies see whenever we discuss about any kind of traffic engineering related things we all know that it becomes necessary for us that the accident data must be covered must be taken into consideration because the facts that i am going to put in front of you in today's session are very shocking and surprising so let us start today's session we are heading towards the next module new module that is about traffic accidents causes and prevention what we are going to cover over here is we are going to cover the first initial things related with the accident studies c you all know that there is i have i am having certain method of teaching that i always teach about what why and how first because whenever we are learning a new subject the first and foremost important thing for us is to know that what is actually we are learning then why do we need to learn that then how can we learn that see we all know that what is the meaning of traffic accidents we all know that what is the meaning of traffic engineering but we don't know that why we do we need to learn the accident studies part so if this is the global map global scenario so you can see this is the india if we zoom in into this then india's map would be reflected like this let us learn certain statistical facts and figures that will not only make you feel shocked but also surprised that what kind of scenario we are being currently facing road transport is one of the most common mode of transport we all know that and 64.5 freight that means goods transport covers road transportation or 65 percentage goods movement is done with the help of road transport and 90 percent of passenger traffic uses road transport see this is the important thing india has one percentage of vehicle only one percentage of vehicle but we are having 11 percentage of total traffic accident see we are having only one percentage of vehicles and we are having 11 percentage traffic accident this is the huge difference huge scenario currently india stands on the first rank we are on the first rank in the road accident with 4,49,002 accidents due to the features of road in which 4,775 accidents were due to portals only according to more that is minister of road transport and highway 25,000 injuries and 9,300 deaths have been reported due to portals see in india if you visit you will come to know that in india every one kilometer we will find a portal if you visit ahmedabad city you might have experience that on 70 percentage of the ahmedabad urban city roads you will find the boards of amc danger this kind of things you might have observed so the deficient road condition are of that much higher extent 
that it has contributed to higher number of accidents. Over a period of 20 years, from if we look into the criteria from 2014 to 2038, if we could save the death and injuries due to road traffic, our GDP could be increased by 7 percentage and I am not saying this on my own. These are the data collected from World Bank report 2018. Road accidents cost India 3 to 5 percentage of GDP every year. See, 3 to 5 percentage of loss of GDP in India is due to this higher amount of accidents. Approximate 1.5 lakh people die and more than 4.5 lakh people are injured in road accidents every year in our country. And per day 415 deaths take place in India. <coughs> Sorry. So you can observe, you can experience that how critical these digits are. If you observe the statistical data of the fund allocation, in 2020, the ministry has allocated 2,618 crore towards maintenance of road and highway that include all the toll bridges. And this is approximate 16 percentage lower. In US, they are spending 51 percentage for the highway budget. And in India, we are spending how much? Only 3 percentage, 3 percentage only. National Transport Development Policy that is called as NTDP had noted in 2014 that amount spent on maintenance on road is quite low and due to that pothole, weak bridges, poor pavements and safety consequences arises. So see, these are the answers of now let us learn what are the various causes of accident. Let us learn about the causes of accident. See, we all know that in India accidents are increasing day by day due to mixed traffic flow and majority of roads. Now objective of study. What is the objective of conducting this accident study? See, first is to study the cause of accident, then to suggest the corrective measure, then to evaluate the existing design then to modify the proposed design, then to make the computation of financial losses and then to give the economic justification of the improvement suggested by traffic engineer. See, these are certain objectives such as to study the cause of accident, to suggest the corrective measure, to evaluate the existing design, to modify the proposed design, to make the computation of financial losses and to give the economic justification of the improvement that is suggested by the traffic engineer. These are the objectives. Let us learn about various causes. See, first is due to driver. Driver is the main cause of any accident we all know. Because if the speed is higher, if driver is in sleepy condition or he or she has consumed alcohol, or he, he or she is suffering from fatigue, then it can cause the creation of accident. That can be one of the causes of accident. The another cause is about pedestrian. See, the people who are walking on the road are called as pedestrian. It may have, it may be observed number of times that people are violating the regulations. They are very careless when they are crossing the roads. This is due to the illiteracy, they are not knowing what should be done. This is due to the crossing at the wrong places. If the road crossings are at road, uh, uh, wrong places, if it is established. And, and due to if the pedestrians are moving on the carriage, it means on the surface of road where the vehicles are driven. So this is due to pedestrian. Pedestrian contribute in the accident by violating the regulation, carelessness, illiteracy, crossing at various locations and moving on the carriage. Then the third cause is also due to passenger but sometimes they cause diversion of the driver's attention. Sometimes they themselves 
they are working on the carriage way see if this is the carriage way if this is the carriage way vehicles are moving here and the person is walking over here he will be getting into the running vehicle or getting down into the running vehicle and this will cause the occurrence of accident then another cause is due to vehicle defect sometimes the brakes can be failed vehicles can be overloaded due to overloaded vehicle the tires can be burst or due to other reasons also sometimes lighting problems may be there so this can cause vehicle defects also then the road condition if the side distance that mean ssd osd and sda stopping side distance overtaking side distance and side distance at the intersection are not properly allocated if curve designs are not appropriate if there is the lack of road marking if the surface is are skidding or slippery surfaces then it can also cause then weather or animals sometimes the weather also plays an important role see it can be observed that if higher amount of rain is there if sleet is there if snow is there and if you are driving your vehicle you will not be able to judge that what is the exact situation in front of you whenever you are driving sometimes it can also happen that due to cloudy weather or due to other reasons also cattle can stray over this road stretch that means cattle means cows buffaloes dogs are moving on the road surface if you are going on a full speed and from the median or carriage way a dogs come into your roadway then you will try to save the dog you will try to save the animal and in the order of saving that particular animal you will cause harm to yourself and it will cause the accident and then the last is about other causes that i already mentioned that straying cattle on the road mobs mean the group of people then wrongly located advertise board parked vehicles so this can also cause issues